our initial approach to the well building standard was to take a very rigorous, informed approach uh, or, or viewpoint for this, if you will. Recognizing how many different trades are involved in the building sciences uh, got us to realize that we need to include as many, or if not all of them, as, as possible. Architects, engineers, designers, building operators, clearly then the medical professionals, people from the health sciences. To merge the health sciences with the building sciences is a very big undertaking. I consider myself an outsider in this entire thing. Uh, again, never uh, having a background in design or architecture or healthcare for that matter. With 18 years on Wall Street, uh, it was a wonderful career. Um, it also allowed me to take a look at certain things differently. I, I think when you uh, look at the field of architecture and design and look at the field of, um, of health and wellness, uh, not being uh, a professional in either one of those components potentially allowed uh, a different look at, uh, at what it could mean to merge those two. After starting to dive in, starting uh, to get some information, one particular stat that everyone quotes nowadays uh, was, was fascinating to me and, and, and not something you normally think about, but over 90% of our life is now spent indoors, inside of a box called four walls and a roof. Um, that, 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 that was shocking when you kind of really digested that and, and realized, wow, there's something really big that's changed here versus the tens of thousands of years of, of our biological evolution spent predominantly outside. Well, at this point, uh, we are so proud to see that we're uh, almost at a thousand projects in 34 countries, uh, you know, pushing upwards of a quarter of a billion square feet so far. Uh, we think this is just the beginning. Uh, what I love to look at is when you consider that type of square footage going through uh, the process of the well building standard, uh, that's about a million people. You know, if you, if you use 250 square foot feet per person, which I think is conservative. So, you know, to see that um, this platform uh, is about to or is already having an impact on uh, the health outcomes for a million people is very exciting. I do travel a lot, um, which is not the, the best thing for, uh, for one's health outcomes. So it's definitely a sacrifice, I think. But, uh, you know, going to a place like China, for instance, in 17 cities in China, uh, over the course of a year, 13 times, uh, two years ago, and now seeing 130 projects in China uh, being well certified, that's just as gratifying as it gets. Interior designers have been designing for the human condition since the first day they picked up a pencil, right? This is not about influencing that already inherent skill set. Uh, this uh, well-building standard is about giving more of a measurable toolkit for them to design the outcomes towards. Um, but uh, this is really a movement that uh, can and is being led by the interior design community. The well APs are the entire movement. They're the critical piece to the whole thing. Um, you know, what we recognized early on was if we could give these professionals uh, and give this infrastructure that already exists, okay, all of these trades, uh, a measurable toolkit to enhance their practice, that's our job. And that's where our job ends. We need the professionals to then start to distribute the well building standard. And having uh, upwards of 5,000 now well APs around the world um, and growing by the day, uh, again, is, is really the power of this movement. I think the evolution of the International Well Building Institute and the well building standard, for that matter, uh, will really depend on the community itself, the user base. This is the community standard, and I think the work that the IWBI has done, even between the iterations of version 1 and version 2, are a great testament to that, getting feedback constantly from the user base uh, and making it a standard for them.